Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make this 3D text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So, first select the polygon tool, click anywhere in the artboard area. I want to make a triangle, so I need three sides. After you scale and reposition the shape, select the knife tool. If you don't find it, click and hold the eraser tool to see and choose the knife tool. Or you can click the three dots icon at the left bottom of the toolbar. All the tools are showing there. You can drag it around or choose which one are available. So select the knife tool and cut the shape into many pieces. To cut in a curved path, drag the pointer over the object. To cut in a straight path, hold down Alt for Windows or Option for Mac as you click the artboard with the knife tool and then drag. The cuts created using the knife tool appear as strokes on the object. Click and drag each part using the selection tool. Ok, so now type your text and drag the text over each part of the shape. Make sure your text is behind the shape. To do that, Press right click and go to Arrange, Send to Back. Select the first text and the shape and go to Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Top Object. Or press Alt Ctrl C for Windows or Option Command C for Mac. Expand and group all. To expand, select all, go to object, expand and press ok. Now, after you group them and expand, you have to do the 3D effect. So, copy the main text or shape, however you want to call it. And then, paste in place. And for that, the shortcut is Ctrl Shift V for Windows or Command Shift V for Mac. Send the copy to back, as we did earlier, make it smaller. To be able to make the copy smaller and to maintain the position, hold Shift and Alt as you drag the shape and add the background color to it. Select both shapes, go to Object, Blend and Blend option. For this type of effect, you have to choose specified steps with a high number. I choose around 20, 100, press OK and then go again to Object, Blend and Make. Great! We have to do one more thing. We have to add another copy to the main text to create the highlight effect. Because we have blend the two copies, they are now grouped. For you to be able to copy the bigger text, you have to go inside the group and to do that, Simply double click the group and it opens in a separate isolation mode. Select the text, copy the text, exit the group by clicking the arrow of the left of group in the upper left corner of the window and paste in place with Ctrl Shift V for Windows or Command Shift V for Mac. Add a brighten color to the copy and this is it. Here is our 3D effect. Thank you for watching and until next time, please stay safe.